We were originally wanted to put together a symposium of roughly 150 people in Gatineau, uh, Quebec, Canada in 2021. Of course, the pandemic came along and all of a sudden the idea of meeting in person was no longer a possibility. So we shifted to the notion of, could we do a, a symposium online? And we weren't very experts in this area and we didn't know where it would lead, but we worked very hard with our, our team, a, a small humble team, but we wanted to work in English, French and Spanish. And we put together sessions in those languages. And then we selected uh, Zoom and Facebook for live uh, sessions and then placing everything on YouTube afterwards. As it turns out, um, it seems that we had people from roughly 100 countries who attended. It seems some 15,000 people, but all of this information is available online. Uh, we had 36 sessions, I believe, and in the three languages. Now, in this, uh, the 2022 version from Val Paris, so we're going to have some of the sessions live, but we'll also have sessions uh, online. Once again, uh, Zoom, Facebook, YouTube, and uh, free open access, a range of sessions. The, the theme this time around is uh, dialogue and emancipation. And we've got many sessions that uh, overlap with social media, indigenous rights, uh, environment, uh, environmental issues, war and peace, uh, transformative education, global citizenship. The idea is to bring together, or there's roughly a hundred uh, participants uh, presenting in panels, in dialogues, one hour uh, sessions, plus some plenary sessions, where we can try to uh, overlap and uh, transpose and, and transfer over uh, different disciplinary, uh, cultural, political, ideological uh, boundaries to, to discuss uh, democracy, global citizenship, and transformative education. We have many wonderful colleagues from uh, a range of countries. In this session, in this symposium, we'll have uh, 18 sessions in Spanish, nine in English, nine in French, plus four plenaries. Our expectations are always humble, but we really want and were inspired by what we did in the 2021 symposium. We were very surprised that there were people from many countries, uh, according to some of the data collection, roughly 100 countries who attended. So we're, we're, we're hopeful that uh, we'll be able to reach more people who will be able to participate and engage and develop uh, and co-construct knowledge projects um, identity formation. Of course, our overall objectives are, are very large. <laughs> we want to contribute to world peace. We want to work collectively in relation to the environment and humanity, uh, social justice, uh, human rights. And we believe that education is a central feature to all of these uh, major tasks. Having people try to uh, uh, surpass these linguistic and cultural boundaries uh, is really important uh, to break down the hegemonic views of, of, of knowledge and power. And uh, many of the sessions will be uh, available with uh, simultaneous interpretation. But regardless, I think the, the overall emphasis of our symposium is to bring people together in solidarity and to try to develop ways to uh, develop projects and to to validate some of the wonderful things that are happening around the world, but also to, to critique and engage and uh, develop ways of, of understanding and being that, that are different. It sounds theoretical, but really it isn't. We want to, to kind of reshape the way that we're thinking about things. And uh, once again, we have a wonderful team of people working on this in, in diverse contexts and countries. We're in a real, quagmire uh, internationally, and I think we have to look at it internationally, and we can see a lot of movements around the world, many of them which are uh, moving uh, situations uh, away from traditional notions of democ democracy, but also more critical forms of democracy and uh, aimed at uh, exclusion and xenophobia and diminishing rights and so on. And this is an international phenomenon and we can see parts of that 
coming out through the, the pandemic. At the same time, we've seen many uh, acts of courage and love and solidarity. There's also been a lot of other uh, acts that have, have been much more disdainful. And we can see that still war is a major issue, uh, social inequalities and economic avarice and so on. Um, so what are the challenges? I think the challenges uh, are so many, we can't just uh, have a list here, but uh, part of that list would be to maybe lower the volume on uh, elections being the, the, the main and, and only issue to determine uh, how we are governed and to find uh, ways to really uh, address these profound fundamental uh, underlying inequalities, uh, hatred towards women, uh, feminicide, uh, discrimination, uh, Aboriginal uh, peoples, Indigenous peoples, uh, reconciliation, rights, sovereignty, uh, racism, uh, poverty, those are the fundamental underlying issues, I think, for if a democracy cannot exist with those, and yet we seem to uh, continue on. So education, I think, is, is central and pivotal, and uh, dialogue. Uh, it's hard to really have anything without dialogue. And of course, we were thinking of Frarian dialogue and Habermas and many other forms. So uh, we're just delighted to, to, to uh, be welcoming any and all who come to the symposium to engage with us. Yeah, no, the symposium resulted in a number of projects and uh, principally, we have a book that's coming out in the three languages, which has been a major challenge because it's not easy to do uh, an edited book in three languages and so on uh, with different uh, perspectives and, and issues. Um, but we also had a number of collaborations that uh, developed because of the symposium um and also a range of, for example, uh, international students who have come to the chair and, and also with other people. When I say the chair, it's uh, really uh, a collective project. So there's many colleagues who are working uh, in and around and if they can be supportive and we can be supportive, that can generate other projects. But we are working <clears throat> specifically on uh, global citizenship uh, projects and uh, also uh, environment uh, eco ecology uh, and peace projects. And many of these are stimulated from the symposium, uh, but others are uh, they're just developing in a, in a dynamic way. I think the main thing is that we're able to meet with people and uh, the pandemic has been a disaster at many levels, but it has forced us to uh, reach out to people around the world and we're now doing things. We have communication with with people that we may not have had previously. I think one thing we've noticed with the, the pandemic, and it is amazing, it's, it's, it's incredible that we developed a, a vaccination so rapidly, it was disseminated quite uh, thoroughly, especially in, in the Western world, uh, but it shows that it wasn't as uh, disseminated in the, uh, the global south. Um, we've seen, you know, social inequalities are still there, uh, wars are still there, the environmental issues are still there, poverty. Um, but we have seen some changes and we can think of the way that solidarity might work if we were to reconfigure how we think about democracy. So I think that uh, the notion of normative democracy, elections, political parties, uh, normative institutions, they're being increasingly rejected, especially by younger people. Uh, voter participation rates are down. People are not satisfied that the mandates that governments have are very thin. So we have to think about ways of, of mobilizing people, uh, making uh, changes, uh, offering proposals, including uh, all sectors, indigenous peoples, women, uh, uh, racialized minorities. Um, it doesn't make sense that we have a few people flying literally to the moon and we have billions and billions of people scraping by. Um, we have to think about that world because that, the, that level of, of chaos and vulnerability uh, puts at risk, uh, not just people, but the planet and so on. So I think there's a lot of opportunities to rethink and there are a lot of people doing really tremendous work. And uh, that's the notion of dialoguing and dialogues and emancipation. Yeah.